Ciao a tutti! Today I am, as usual, in a very spectacular place. We are still in the northwestern Mediterranean, in Liguria. It looks like summer, but uh, it's uh, the end of October, actually. Weather is very good outside, the sea is very, very calm. And uh, in this video, I would like to talk about uh, a very important thing that we have on our beaches, which are systems to defend the shoreline from coastal erosion. Now, there are a number of uh, different techniques that can be adopted to defend uh, the beach from coastal erosion but in this case uh, and in many other cases along both the Mediterranean and other coastlines we uh, build uh, perpendicular defenses. So what are perpendicular defenses? These are structures that are built perpendicularly with respect to the length of the coastline to interrupt or to modify in some way uh, the littoral drift. So the drift of sediments that is coming with the coastal currents when the sea is uh, stronger than today and when uh, the waves generate longshore currents. There are many different kinds of uh, um, perpendicular structures. In this place we have in particular two. One uh, are groins, which are um, structures that extend towards the sea and they basically block the sediments um, that, are, that are transported by the longshore currents. The other kind of structure that there are in this place are semi-submerged uh, uh, structures that are kind of little islands that are basically uh, put, let's say, 50 centimeters, one meter below sea level, down to three, four meters below sea level. And these are basically used as well to intercept the littoral drift, so the currents that are transporting sediments from one side to the other on a beach like this one, and uh, to keep them in a particular place. Now, perpendicular defenses are very, very efficient at uh, stabilizing some parts of the coastlines because you actually uh, can interrupt physically the drift of sediments, as I was saying before. But there are some problems related to that. And these problems are that whenever you build a perpendicular structure, the beach which is located on uh, uh, the windward side, so on the side of the current, uh, is uh, favored, so sediments are retained on that side, but the other side, so the side which is uh, located down current, um, is basically uh, subject to problems of erosion. So what happens is that often you have to build one groin after another. This can create problems because of course uh, when you start building one groin and you shift the problem of coastal erosion from one side to the other, then uh, you are basically starting to um, shift the problem of coastal erosion and not really solve it. The submerged islands are a little bit better because until a certain point sediments are actually allowed to pass, They're only a part of the sediments is retained. When these islands though are connected by a split of sediments uh, to the mainland, uh, then uh, the same problem uh, starts. So these are just uh, two of the many different structures that uh, are built or put in place to defend our shorelines from erosion, which is becoming much and much worse because we are also experiencing sea level rise and in some areas around the world increase in the um, intensity of storms. This is it for this video. As usual, if you liked it, put a subscribe, put a like. Uh, let me know what you think about coastal defenses. Are there a lot in your area? Would you like to see them removed? Uh, would you like to see more of them? Let me know what you think and see you next time. Ciao a tutti.